and we'll get to uh, to some examples now. So the AA is uh, the default option and it makes the client EA change the lot size proportionally according to the size of the master and the client account. Like I explained in one of the first um, in one of the uh, one of the first slides, it's like if you risk one percent on the master, the same one percent will be risked on the client EA, and the uh, client EA will adjust the client uh, like the lot size on the client accordingly, making it bigger or smaller according to the size of the of the client account. And uh, when MMM is set to AA, the client EA does not use money management value. So keep this in mind that uh, if this is set, that those other three money management parameters are of no use kind of. Okay, so now let's look at the first example. So imagine we have the AA set as the money management mode. So if we have the master account of $1,000 and the client account of $5,000, and we need to copy the trade of 0.2 lot size, then the client account will get the lot size of 1.0. It's like one full lot. Well, assuming the client account have the same or the bigger leverage than the master. So why is that? Well, here's why. The client account is five times bigger. It's like 5,000 against the 1,000, yeah? So it's five times bigger. So the lot size will become five times bigger as well. We have to do this kind of to, to preserve the same risk in percentage, yeah? It's like automatically scale. The bigger account gets the bigger lots, so they get the bigger profits, like in, in, in a monetary uh, kind of calculations. And if the account is smaller, they get to risk smaller amounts as well. But in the percentage kind of wise, it's the same, yeah? So in this case, the 0.2 lot trade, uh, let's say it's a 2% risk on the master account. So on the client account, to risk the same 2%, we need to open the same uh, trade, but with a full lot size, which is like five times the master account size, uh, the, the, the master trade size, yeah? So this is the ideal way to copy the trades and preserve the same risk in percentage and uh, kind of uh, have the auto automatic lot scaling. Yeah, Just keep in mind that AA calculation mode takes the leverage into account as well to protect the client's capital. So this protection is activated only if the client account leverage is smaller than the master account leverage. In such a case, the client EA will lower the lot size on the client account to avoid margin calls or stopouts. Uh, now let's see how that works. Yeah. So let's apply the same example as before, but this time the master and the client account leverage will be different. So for example, if the master account was of $1,000, so let's say it has a leverage of one to 100, but the client account of, of $5,000, let's say it has a leverage of 1 to 25, which is four times smaller than the leverage of the master account. So in this case, the client EA will copy the same 0.2 lot size trade to the client account at the lot size of 0.25. And that is because the account leverage is five times smaller. So here's what happens. So you see, if the client account leverage would be bigger or the same as the master account, the lot size will be the full lot because it has to become like five times bigger because the client account is five times bigger. But because the client account has a smaller leverage and it's like to be precise, it's four times smaller, the client EA makes the resulting lot size five times smaller as well. So the one full lot becomes 0.25. If we wouldn't do that, the client EA would be at the danger risking capital, like getting margin calls, stop outs, and so on. Yeah. 